it's time for the final battle. <laughs> it's been 300 years. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> Wait, are you ready for the big reveal? This is how we're going to do the big blowout of 2014. Oh my god. It's him, and his music is playing, and it's jo freaking jovial as hell. Who? Don't you remember this fat cat? s -Cade. Exactly. It's just like, uh... I just remember when this guy came out, I was not like blown away. I just thought, who the fuck is this? You honestly didn't remember him? I did not him? remember him. Dude, the he... second I heard his music, I flipped the hell out when this happened. Boom! Most yeah. horrifying transformation of yeah, all time. Yeah, he didn't really play that big of a role beforehand. This, this is straight like... up nightmare fuel. Come on, he was more reoccurring than most other characters. You, you had to talk to him quite a few times in the game. He's never paid much mind to it. Look, he, like, he, his jumps are so powerful, he actually shakes the entire Colosseum. Oh, man, this is our big year 2014 blowout. Yeah, I know. And, his, and honestly, he actually has one of my favorite final battle themes. Like, I prefer it to XD's final battle theme. I prefer it to, like, freaking Diamond and Pearl's final battle theme. He is among my favorite nice. final battle themes. You prefer Tua versus Red? Um, eh, no, I don't think so. Well, I mean, see, a lot of people... And you don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> yeah, I have to, I have to, I have to. Uh, yeah, I honestly don't even remember versus Red. I'm going to be real, real with you here. Wow. I know. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty baller. Okay. Now I remember. I'm going to replace that with the actual battle music. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, it's been it's been so long. Yeah, and he has a pretty baller team too. Yeah, I mean he's just. It's worth it. It's been worth the wait. It has been worth, worth the, the wait. wait. Worth the wait. Cease this. <laughs> he he, he, he can get, get it because he's fat like Game oh, Noel. Yeah, uh, yeah, Caesar. Caesar. This is before Caesar. This is, this is before technician. Awful. Yeah, this is before literally everyone used him. Yeah. This is before Caesar got the biggest buff ever. Technician. That feel. Whatever. This is this is before Salamence got outraged. This is often like this it's is strange. Before Salamence, when it was like the best. Yeah. Oh, Tyranitar was still pretty baller. Tyranitar is always baller. What would you say is a generation where Tyranitar was the least baller? Uh, I'd probably go with probably this generation, really, Gen Six. Huh. Ha, huh. Salamence. Because, you know, Gen 2... Oh, yeah, it, it, uh, is, it is important to actually share that you do become healed for this yeah. battle. Gen 2 was uh, great for stalling. He was great at stalling, and that was the meta. And he was also a good stall breaker. He doubled. Yeah. That was pretty great. Gen 3, uh, again, was like a really great uh, special and physical attacker. A great dual stab for that gen. And uh, Gen 4, once again, rocked the focus punch meta. Absolutely shut down a bunch of uh, popular uh, Pokemon to use. It was just the anti metagame Pokemon. And then Gen 5, Weather Wars. Yeah. He was the Sandstream. Right. Uh, yeah. And then Gen 6 is just. Yeah, he got a Mega, but just, he's outclass now. Oh, I back when slacking was the biggest threat. God. Oh, yeah. And you always forget he has 100, base 100 speed. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he loafs around, but damn. He's fast as hell, yeah. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Straight up, it's, it's, it's time to 6-0 me. Well, not quite 6-0. He already lost to Pokemon, but you know what? He's going to KO Caesar, his own Caesar at least, but Suicune tanks it like a boss. Yeah. Um, yeah, considering that did come from the slacking, it is pretty, it is pretty impressive. Yeah, especially considering I don't EV these Pokemon at all, so. You really can't EV them. Yeah, it, it, really, it literally is impossible. Because you can't refight trainers until uh, certain, and you can only refight certain trainers after. You're gonna surf anyway. You give a shit about your type of. No, this is no Gen three. Don't you remember Gen three surf only hit the other two? Oh. I know that, that that's another thing. Surf only became earthquake in Gen four. Oh yeah, shit. I remember. He was level sixty. I remember learning that, and uh, damn, like that that was such a big. Buffer. I was so mad at that when I learned that happened in Gen four. Slow king. So yeah, I really like his battle theme, and um, I would say he's pretty tough. 
he, he, is, he is more difficult than... I mean, NASCAR had the benefit of, you know, having the gauntlet before him. You're healed for this fight, very kindly, at least, as Cade is a fair man. Uh, but <laughs> even still, with the full heal, fully healed team, he's still a really big challenge. And you do say, have to think strategically. When he, when he came out, he didn't really make that big of a deal of it. He just said, hey, yeah, I'm as Cade. I'm gonna fight you now. And then he does a backflip <laughs> and freaking transforms. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. His final form. Skill, he, he skill swap slacking. Oh shit. Oh, that strat. I know, yeah, I know. This game is like a really... The, 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 the Shadow Pokemon games were like the only uh, games that I saw that actually like really tried to use like strategies like that. Like there are some clever ones. Like they have, um, they have a lot of uh, like uh, overheat and white herb users. They have uh, rain dance and then rain... Rain Dance Abusers, Swift Swimmers, you know, yeah. and then Rain Dishers, and they have, like, the freaking... They have... Oh, one thing that's used all the time is Toxic and Guts. Oh. Toxic and Guts is used, like, is, is used as a combination a lot in this game by did, did AI. Did he not get a chance to pull it off the champ? Uh, no. Uh, did, 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 what is the champ? Like, would he go for that if you had to kill it? Uh, he might. Uh, he probably would have, I think. Because like that's something, especially when you go into the into the coliseums, into the stadiums. Like they, they the, a lot of the teams are prefabbed. A lot of the enemies teams are prefabbed to like really double up on you with the really common sort of but effective, common but effective. Uh, uh, double team three fights. Before the toxic and the flame orb. Uh, yeah, there's no orbs in this game. In fact, like I got, I remember, I remember that one time we went back and played some Gen Three Kong. Oh, a God, long time yeah. ago. Forgot. Uh, I, 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 literally, I just... Style. I just... Yeah, I just Displayed. slapped. I just literally slapped leftovers, leftovers on everything. everything. Yeah, no choice. No choice. I, no, I think I, may, I might have choice like one or two, but it, otherwise it really was just leftovers on everyone. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was all leftovers unless you really wanted to get that attack power you put on a choice item. Yeah. Or I guess you could technically have gone with like, you know, black glasses. Yeah, yeah, those, those, those go, gone with the Gen 2 strategy of the 20% buffs. But yeah. those, those, a lot of the times, aren't too great. And then there's Marowak with Thick Bone. Yeah, the, yeah, the Pokemon-specific items you can always, yeah. I like how uh, Gen, uh, Gen 6 introduced uh, Mega Forms for Latios and Latios, and yet uh, it's still not nearly as good as Soul Dew. Yeah. Yeah. Was it... Soul Dew's fucking ridiculous. It is, because, like... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, were, weren't weren't wasn't Latias like um, OU for a while without Soul Dew? Uh, you know, Latias and Latias were considered. Uh, they, they uh, so basically there was this uh one thing in there where they tried to see okay let's test the waters these new offensive fans. let's see how Latias does in OU with Soul Dew. No. Yeah. No. 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 Seriously. Yeah. It reminds me of how uh, when Shaman Sky was introduced and they tried to test that out at OU, it was the first Pokemon to ever be banned to Ubers with 100% uh, yes votes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Complete banishment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, unfortunately the strongest attack Umbreon has is Faint Attack, uh, so that's not yeah. very effective. Toxic stalling all the way. Are Dark Attack special in this, Jeff? Uh, yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the counterpoint to Ghost, which is unfortunately physical, you know, much to the detriment of Gengar. And even then, Gengar wrecked shit. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he was. Yeah, he he rocks those hell. sets without even without the. That uh, was that so. Of course, as soon as Gen Four came, he started rocking the offensive like Ghost move set. Yeah. But yeah, even then, he could still like substitute disable. All that shit. Oh, Gengar's great. Now here, I'm having trouble because like. Even though Slacking, like, has weakened special defense, like, that shit's still base 90. Yeah. I gotta be careful. <laughs> I got nothing to do, like, to- If only you had an X special attack, right? Oh, I, I think I did, but, like, honestly, I never really bothered using those well, X attacks. Had, I said, well, this is one of the few stack. times where I actually set up the, 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 the Reflect to get- uh, to protect me from Slacking a little bit, because that shit's just Claw, bananas. Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's like- Look at that. I, I think that's like uh, the penultimate, like normal type move to uh, return. Crush Claw? Yeah, Crush Claw. It's intense. It's more powerful than uh, Strength, I think. Well, yeah. And it's it's double edge. Oh, yeah, there's Double Edge. That's what Salamence, the Salamence had earlier on. Yeah, it's Double Edge and Return are the two. Yeah. Like, like actual, like, competitive, evil, all the time. 
but in game Crush Claw is still pretty based. Yeah. And he just keeps spamming him. Oh, no, 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 sorry, this guy's evil. He'd have him use frustration, obviously. <laughs> This is frustrating though, because like, see the usually like you, you go on the hyper offensive for the whole game, you get used to either two hit KOing or one hit KOing all Pokemon, and the fact that these bosses don't put up with that shit is like really like troubling. Mm -hmm. You really have to it really it makes you think in your feet. I mean, you can see my you can see the gears in my head turning. I'm curious to see what I'm gonna do, because like I said, I'm I'm also I have no idea. You're curious to see how you're gonna fuck this up. Yeah, basically, how am I gonna beef it this time? I mean, he just keeps spamming. Good thing you got Morning Sun and Moonlight. And hey, by the way, you're uh, down to the two Pokemon you started the game with. Yeah, isn't that like sim it all comes around, doesn't it? Did you stick with was, did you stick with your Eevee and Eevee Lucian throughout the whole next game? Yes. All right, cool. I mean, I do that for all every single game. Like I, I stick. I mean, I think everyone. Did you, did you, did you play Yellow? Range. Yeah. You stuck with Pikachu. I stuck with Pikachu. Wow. When I played Fire Red, I got Pikachu and stuff with it. Anyway, slacking is down and out. Oh, Finally. God. Just a scream of pain before <laughs> being sent back to the void. So what's next? Oh! It's the big bad oh, boy himself. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the big man in the house. Seriously. And then, literally... It happens. He start. He whips yeah. up a fucking. Imagine how terrible that would be. Yeah. Like, let alone in any. In the ore. He's literally whipping out all the yeah. sand. I mean, what I. Feel, I don't even feel bad for us. I feel bad for the audience. Yeah. He's Tyranitar in the house. Now, thankfully, Shadow Ball does shit to Espeon because it's physical and reflect blocks it, and it's not even that good attack. Tyranitar is so based. Tyranitar is. He's just so cool. Based in as hell. I mean, he's, he's got he's got good attack and special attack, and his dual stab is both physical and special. Hell yeah. Yeah. And as a rock type, a lot so people forget this, in Sandstorm, his special defense is raised by 50%. That was not until later. That really? was not in Gen 3. That was in Gen 4. That was in Gen 4. Ah. Damn. Gen 4 of Sandstorm, but then that happened, man. Shuckle, man. Became an absolute beast. Yeah. In Sandstorm. Basically. I just like imagine the thing. So it's like you know, what, what, what item are you going to give Tyranitar? Black glasses, of course. This is a man. What was the what, what was the best night uh, dark move in this game? The best dark move in this in, in Gen Three. Because I don't think Dark Pulse is out yet. No, Crunch maybe. It was crunch, yeah. Which is odd. You'd think you know, it's for a special typing, the one move that actually requires physical, like you know, strength. It's still special. Yeah. Guess that's why they put in Dark Pulse. Because, you know, once uh, the physical special split hit, Dark no longer had a good special stab. Yeah. The, 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 the Dark Pulse really was yeah. one of those things where it's like they forgot what the hell Dark type meant. Yeah. They thought it was like edge tier dark energy when yeah. it's supposed to be fighting underhand. And yeah. a, a Dark Pulse doesn't really make yeah, sense. Yeah, that, that, that's, why, that's why fighting is super effective against it, because fighting type is fights with honor. Yeah. And a Dark type fights uh, underhanded, uh, dirty. Yeah. You know, like, that's why Bite's that's, that's, dark. Yeah, that, that's why a lot of uh, dark moves have great names. Uh, fucking Foul Play. Uh, Beat Up, which is literally you just you get all your other Pokemon out. <laughs> dog pile the fucker. Yeah. Freaking Sucker Punch. Yeah, I mean, or, or, or like, it still makes sense here, because, you know, Biting is not considered a legitimate tactic, hence why it's dark. And Crunching, I guess, certainly isn't either. Yeah. Look at this pansy ass. Trying to use Shadow Ball against me? Who the fuck does he think? Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy Slowking with some thunder. Dark type is a really cool idea. Yeah, definitely. Counter the absolute psychic omnipresence of first gen, yeah. but then they totally overdid it as psychic bowed yeah. out as an offensive type for like the next two generations. Uh -huh. And Steel type is a cool idea too. Fairy types, all right. Yeah. Like, I like Sylveon a lot. Yeah. yeah we, we can't trash talk Sylveon. <laughs> Not allowed. Not allowed. Oh well, I guess I'm not going to be electrocuting him to death. <laughs> then we're down to the big man. Or is there a guy that's the other dude? Nope. We're down. We're down. To the big man on to the big man on set. Yeah, you know what I. We're down to the main event. You know what I found interesting that they fixed. 
So, you know how, um, you know Faint Attack here? Yeah. You know how it's spelled F-A-I-N-T, as in your Pokemon pretends to faint and then attacks the yeah. enemy? Yeah. They, they changed that in Gen 6. They finally changed it to the right, to the, to the faint. Right, right spelling it, Faint. Well, I mean, honestly, both made sense. Yeah. Here it's, it makes sense because you pretend to faint and then you attack when your enemy draws near. And the other one, it makes sense because you're, you know, you pretend to attack, then, you know, withdraw and strike them again. Yeah. That is a move now, is it, Faint? Yeah, Faint, no, Faint was Gen 4 also, though. Yeah. Faint was... You have to predict protect. Yeah. Faster ball. Like I even care. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing else to do other than, uh, I guess... Uh, go har harass Mirror B. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, had this been XD has Shadow Pokemon after the final dude. This one doesn't, so yeah. that's the last thing we really need to use it on. There are no all other Shadow Pokemon are easier than Tyranitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, they come now. They had to wait till after the battle. It's okay. dishonorable to arrest someone mid battle. Cipher's finished. So did, did, I thought Cipher had like uh, like massive amounts of influence. Yeah, that's like what I always thought. They have political. And you, all, all they can they do, have operatives. And they he, can just arrest him. Yeah, and then like, what can advice this advice seriously not think of like backups? I mean, obviously, we like. I mean, at this point, we don't know of any backups. And always... <laughs> 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 we can't arrest him now. Darn, he's standing right in front of us. Oh, but wait. What the? Destroyed. Oh, denied. denied. <laughs> Absolutely. Vile act of terrorism Seriously, that saved the day. Seriously, though, they couldn't just arrest him before he got in the helicopter. Yeah. Like, what was he gonna do? Hold on, guys, I gotta get in. This oh, hey. Hey, friend. I bet he didn't even do it. He just, like, just accidentally. Yeah, that, that was like a that was like a flamethrower from another battle yeah. having. Yeah. Ho-Oh was totally unrelated. <laughs> How did Ho-Oh know what was going on? ho -Oh has a sense of... I mean, they say here that Ho-Oh is like a Pokemon that appreciates justice and whatever. It appreciates mob justice. Yeah. A duking, seriously, we get it. <laughs> hey, ho ho, how would you like to cuddle up in my box? <laughs> Just blessing you for the victory. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you feel blessed. <laughs> You're now a ho ho priest. What do you think of ho ho? Ho ho's cool, ho ho's really great. One of my favorite Pokemon to use in Ubers as well, as one of the nice design. Look at that stealth rock, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't give a shit. Has well, your, has your generator now. Doesn't give a shit. But that was Pokemon Coliseum. Thank you for sticking with us for three years. Yeah, thank you to all of our loyal fans who are going to watch hey, this and views, earn us dodge. Those, those 11 views matter. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you to Noonam for, uh, you know, putting up with his commentary lasting so long. Basically. Thank you to Alice for uh, correcting us on the developers of this game not being Game Freak and being, in fact, genius sonority. Thank you to Swede for being Swede. Thank you to... Uh, nah, Eric, go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, we love all of you. Yeah. So what are your, what are your final thoughts on Pokemon Coliseum? Um, it's a fun game, you know? It's a... Uh, it really is just a very uh, refreshing take on the act... On, like, the... I like... It's a very refreshing take on the main game formula. Whereas most side games just took on completely different gameplay styles, this kept uh, yeah. the uh, Pokemon battles. Everything with double battles, obviously. But yeah, it was just uh, really nice to just see uh, all my favorite Pokemon in 3D for the first yeah. time, uh, battle with them, got all these rare, really cool Johto Pokemon. It had a really... Uh, uh, I wouldn't... It had a, it had a good story, I, I would say. I, yeah. I will say, like, yes, in comparison to Pokemon, in comparison to the rest of the games, yeah, you're not comparing it to much, but it's still uh, enjoyable as a story. I and mean, it's... I appreciate um, the more mature themes and, uh, you know, seeing more uh, hardcore shit happen. Yeah, honestly, it was, like, still a better plot than even Nintendo's year-long attempt at a plan with black and white like, I mean, I would say it's comparable to that in terms of quality. Yeah. And then, like, that took Nintendo game for, like, a whole year to plan out. I like this game. I thought it was a really good sequel, especially to the uh, Stadium games. A lot of people criticized it for not being exactly like Stadium. And I can see the sentiment, you know, the fact you can't build your own teams on the fly like you could in Stadium. But even still, I thought, like, trading that off for a fully-fledged story was more than worth it. And especially all the bonus Pokemon you can get from Ho-Oh to Tyranitar, Metagross, etc. 
really sort of made that up, and it's just a really good game and an interesting take. It, great, it spawned a great sequel, a really, really great sequel, and I really want Nintendo to take more plot-based approaches to Pokemon, take more 3D, like, console, like, takes like this. We need another stadium yeah. game. It's been far too long. PBR did not cut it, and we've been missing one for two yeah. generations now. So. so, yeah. I guess we'll see you all next time when we do the next Pokemon GameCube game, Pokemon Channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. See you then. Yeah.